Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey GTI7 and welcome to the video. In this episode, I'm going to be using the legendary McLaren MP4 for uh, using it in the new uh, menu book number 48 uh, World Turning Cup uh, 900 races. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys the full guide of how to get the car. There's now two ways, well at least one new way to get the car, but there's actually right now at this moment two new ways. Um, I thought doing this episode, uh, since we're actually one subscriber away from reaching the 900th uh, subscribers, that's pretty cool. So thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel uh, through here and also being able to support me through the game just by following me in the game itself. Um, so without no further ado, let's get started with the episode. And if you guys want to stay tuned at the very end, I'll show you guys a complete Circuit experience at Lake Louise. So here we are at the legendary car dealership where the McLaren MP44 uh, F1 race car is currently is being held at, at the moment. Uh, as you can see, the total cost of the car is 10 million credits, so it's very expensive. Uh, but you can take note that's almost even uh, 900 performance points. It's right at 898. I've used this car plenty of times in my Sedina runs. Um, so I th actually thought about doing a Sardina run with this car, but I thought, uh, second thought of it, just use it for the 900 World Touring Car Racing classes. Now, the other way to get this car for free is if you're at the Master License and if you're able to get gold in the Super License category, as you can see here at the bottom of the screen, you can get this car for free if you hit all gold uh, in the Super License license. Uh, now I do have a video that I did made uh, covering both IB, IA, and Super License. So if you want to quickly jump into that episode, which is a full complete gold guide for all those three licenses, uh, you can click on the top of the video right now. Um, if you're wanting to go that route, it might take a little long, long time to do that um, but if you want to do that then you're more than welcome to do so uh, like I said it'll cover IB, IA and Super um, so here we are at the very first race I'm going to be used, doing is the Nürburgring GP road course uh, and this car really is really quick um, I know this particular races really invites us to use grade 2 race cars which I don't mind um, I thought it'd be just a little bit more fun um, just to use the old McLaren MP404 just to see how hard we can push the car and see how fast we can go compared to the rest of the AI. So here we are easily able to pass the NSX for 19th. Um, it's basically one of those type of races where you start all the way from dead last and just mainly have to pretty much drive all the way up to the front uh, by a large margin. Um, you can see here we got the power too early and spin the car around but uh, this race is still early so we're not going to give up just yet um, so we're basically going to try to recompose ourselves try to uh, recover the best as we can um, I do know we do have the car plus we know the track very well uh, which also helps a lot plus the car is of course a whole different level uh, compared to these grade twos um, one thing to go ahead and mention is that some of these races as you'll be in in menu book 48 um, sometimes the main lead AI cars will pit um, I'm not saying that all of them will but some of them will be able to save their fuel and try to stretch their fuel all the way to the end of the race so just keep that in mind when you do pit uh, that some of the AI may not come in, in to pit uh, so to keep that in mind, also if you want to use a different car than what I'm using, then you're more welcome to do so as well. Uh, but you can see we just recovered and we're going to be right at 17th spot, right at the first lap. But there's really no need to panic because right at the end of lap 6, uh, this is going to be our lap to pit. Um, all I'll be doing here for this whole entire pit sequence for this race and the two other races that I'll show you guys later um, is just mainly adding fuel. Uh, as you can see, the tires are in excellent good shape, uh, despite having that spin on the first lap. Um, as we also have another driver coming in the pits as well. Um, so yeah, all you gotta do is just add your fuel all the way up to you see that little white checked icon uh, right on top of your fuel bar. 
and that's basically going to be it for your strategy for fuel. Uh, but like I said, sometimes you'll have the main AI leaders, they will come to pit, sometimes they won't. Uh, so sadly, you'll have to basically have to rework, uh, try to get to the top spot again. But, this is also show you guys a quick racing line or tip around this track with this car. Uh, third gear through this corner, make sure the left wheels touch the curb and then get back to the right side of the road, the curb. This particular corner is very interesting. You want to make sure you're right third gear. You don't want to turn in just yet for that particular corner. You want to go to the far left as possible and then turn right. Um, following with this next corner, these next couple corners are actually pretty fun to drive. Uh, fortunately, we're going to have the door shut on us in this particular corner, but we will get a much better run off the corner. Uh, moving us to P6 right in front of the Honda again. Going down this long hill, uh, you're going to try to aim your left wheels, hit that curb, going down the third gear. Uh, halfway to the turn, you should be about half throttle, if not 70% throttle. And then through here, make sure your right wheels touch that curb, if you're clear. And then basically through that corner, you can basically go full throttle. Lean up to this corner, we're going to break hard. Um, we actually had a very unfortunate case, as we actually get bumped by the Audi spin around so we, here we are two spins in one race uh, but there's no need to, th to really pout about that because lap 8 right almost at the beginning of lap 9 uh, the main leader is going to come to pit road and we're going to make a move on the outside of this Lexus driver and thankfully we will be able to clear him uh, and then take the lead with the race and with that we will be able to actually win uh, this race. So this race was actually pretty fun uh, considering we had two spans to recover from, uh, but the car handled very well. So, really, really recommend uh, giving this car a go at this particular track. It felt really good the whole entire race. Um, now, here we are moving on to, I think this is called Autoplus. Uh, as you can see, very mixture between some to mid high speed turn uh, straights and some very technical corners as we make into the first lap here. Uh, same case scenario starting all the way in last place and basically have to basically have to work hard and try to get back to the front. Uh, 10 laps just like it was at Nürburgring. Ring. All these races are going to be 10 laps um, but thankfully this race right here it actually goes a little bit smoother um, as we really didn't have any issues of either being taken out or making mistakes where we had to spin out. Uh, that one particular corner right here that I do recommend just watching out, make sure uh, when you do pass someone uh, not to get too early on the, on the acceleration, otherwise the car is going to whip out and going to spin out. Uh, as you can see I have no assist on so if you are having trouble uh, with this handling of the car, especially the rear end stepping out, then you uh, might want to add traction on or counter steer and see if that can help you out a good bit. But once you begin to know how this car drives in uh, when you learn this track uh, then you can really be able to really maximize and push this car pretty hard and really make a huge huge gains on the main field itself. Uh, this actually is a fun track to drive especially with this car uh, with it having been very high downforce on uh, some of those very technical turns. If we cross the line it's going to be right P16 as we move to 15th um, fast forward now to lap 6, uh, we are going to stay out for one more extra lap. Uh, what I'm going to do is if you're doing this, just adjust your free map setting to number 3 as we did a 133.4 uh, for our last lap. We're going to go all the way up to here until you see that number 1 flashing, that's when you break. I recommend 3rd gear uh, to that first corner, you could do 2nd gear, but I think 3rd gear the car actually acts a little bit better. Break hard again, uh, you're going to barely touch that curb on your left wheels and then just mainly follow the racing line through here. You'll be in second gear uh, for most of these slow corners. Brake hard here, uh, still be in second gear, barely touch that curb with your right wheels and strain the car out. We're going to shift to third and then we'll shift early to fourth. Just let the car roll naturally and then hit those left curbs with your left wheels. Uh, then strain the car out, hit that curb with your right tires. We're going to brake right at that second left uh, turn signal. Uh, second gear, uh, then go back on the power and after you go down the, the long descent of the hill. Uh, just stay in fourth gear 
and basically try to hit these curbs. Uh, once you do that, be able to get a lot of time doing that. Stay in fourth gear, and then through this very tight section right here, you're going to go back down to third gear, and just mainly follow the more darker shade uh, line on the track. Um, through here, you're going to break, and then about halfway to the turn, you be back right on the power. Fourth gear, and then, or third gear. And then through here, just through these little next corners, we're going to go into the pit road. And the pit road is a little bit different, so make sure you brake hard and just be a little bit careful. As you see, the entry is a little bit different uh, than other tracks. But uh, same thing like we did the number ring, we're going to fill up the car with fuel uh, just until we hit that little diamond icon, uh, which is not that much. And thankfully, uh, we actually do have a, another driver behind us, uh, but we have one other driver. That actually stayed out, so we'll have to be able to chase him down and take retake the lead. Uh, but thankfully, they're, they're right down the road, so not too far. Uh, they act we actually did pass him, and like I mentioned before, they actually did were able to stretch out their fuel, so they did not make a pit stop. Uh, so if you do this race, just keep that in mind, uh, just in case you do this. All right, now let's move on to Suzuka, uh, the last race for the menu 48 book uh, as you guys may know if you've already done the master license with this car uh, this should be no problem uh, whatsoever for you to try to do this race with this car now I did mention a long time ago but we did a time trial lap with this car and this track together it was like right when the car uh, was released last year I do remember making a video on that uh, but you can just see if you're familiar with F1, the racing games, uh, basically put that knowledge and skill to this race and you really won't have any issues. But if you're new to the game or you're new to Suzuka and not quite too sure how the track works and what gear to be yet when the brake acceleration, uh, then no problem. Uh, I will, in this video, going to share a, my video of how to be fast at this track. I know the field is a year old, but just in case if you really don't know how to drive the track with this car, I'll have that uh, link in the description uh, just in case if you're curious and just want to know how to become faster in, at this particular track with this car. But as you can see, we're already up to 16th place. We have a lot of gains already on the main leader. And you can see going through 130R, full throttle, it's a little flick to the left, stream will make a very vicious move on the Mercedes-Benz uh, CLK um, for 15th. And then as we complete the first lap, we'll be right at 15th place, almost uh, up to 14th. Um, as we're going to get right through, halfway through the pit road, uh, be able to take 15th place and move to 14th. Alright, lap 5 is going to be our lap to pit. Uh, we're going to stick on FEMAP 1 the whole entire race. Uh, as you can see here, I just now took the lead from the main leader. Uh, and this is just like the other races before. Uh, just add fuel to the car. As you can see, the tires are still in great shape. Uh, now we are going to fall back in fifth place. Um, but no need to worry. Uh, right lap 7, I believe, is when they're, the main leader should pit. So don't worry, they will pit. Um, they won't be able to stretch their fuel out like they did in the Auto Plus. Uh, but other than that, that's basically going to be it for Suzuka. Uh, very simple, easy to, to drive. This car felt really good the whole entire race. Uh, was a lot of fun driving this car around this track. And actually almost copped to a uh, back marker. So that's going to be it for the full menu book. And if you guys are curious why I won, I won a five, a five star ticket. Now to Lake Louise with the, using the RCC uh, Grade B Rally Car. So I'm going to show you guys basically Sector 1, 2, 3, and 4. And of course the one lap attack. The way I'm going to plan this is I'm going to first show you my onboard camera. My demonstration. And then after I get that lap done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then switch over and transition it to where it's the replay of the car in chase cam. Uh, so that way you can have a 3D view of what the car is doing. P hopefully it will give you a better idea where to be at with the car in a particular lane. 
and like I mentioned, we're going to go through all the sectors, including the one, that one lap attack. And not only that, but I'm also going to point out what uh, brake system you need to set your brakes on, and uh, your torque distribution, what number to set that on. Um, just in case you're kind of curious, and hopefully uh, that helps out in this whole entire uh, circuit experience. So let's move on to the first the first sector. So first sector, I got my different uh, my torque set to 3565, and you're basically going to mainly let the car just coast halfway to the turn. You want to try to aim your car be close to that snowball. As you can see, we gained a lot of time uh, on our previous ghost. We're going to brake a little bit, and then we're going to let the car coast through this part right here. We're going to go down the third gear, and then go back to the power. Uh, now we did lose a little bit on the ghost, but other than that, we are just about made up a lot of time compared to the ghost and it's going to be a gold for 32.383 and here we are with the replay just break just send the car deep uh, as deep as you can but not too far or otherwise you'll uh, hit that snow wall uh, just make sure you run close to that wall just get as much straight line speed as you can out of the corner and then try to set, set your car at a very good angle uh, so that way you'll be able to get a good ride off that wall too uh, and then just mainly a little flick on the right up the hill and that's going to be it for sector one so sector two I have my torque set to 4555 for this next run I'm going to lift the throttle and then get back to the power and we're going to break very early for this corner uh, trying to minimize the drift in the snow we're going to start shift to third and then we'll let go of the gas and get back to the power uh, trying to make sure the car is more stable throughout the corner and apparently we made up a good bit of time on our ghost and that's going to be at 23 935 so here's another look at it uh, now you technically could go full throttle through this corner right here uh, but I was mainly setting up for a much shorter route uh, in this particular corner even though we did went a little bit wide uh, but thankfully short shift in the third helped the car a lot um, now I could have maybe been a little bit more aggressive and maybe would have stuck to the high groove of where it was closer to the wall, but it's still good enough for gold. Sector 3, we have our torque set to 50-50 and we set our brakes to number 4 to the rear. Uh, so we're going to brake pretty heavily through here. We're going to go down the third gear, then back to the power. Fourth gear, then we're going to hit the brakes one more time. We're going to go back to third and fourth for quite a good bit. Uh, but mainly try to aim your right tires to be in that blue line and then after that uh, you want to make sure your car is straight through that transition and as you see we got the gold as well with a 23.415 so here's another look at it of course after the bumps uh, basically you're going to brake hard try to keep the car as straight as you can try to minimize uh, the drift that's what you're going to try to do aim for your uh, car to be close to those blue lines to the right side of the road and after that, just go full throttle, uh, hard left turn. Just make sure it's not too hard or else you'll hit the wall and you'll just fail the challenge. And that's going to be it for sector three. And then here we are at sector four. Uh, same thing, 50-50 for the f torque. And then rear brakes set to four. Fourth gear, we're going to go a little bit wide. We're going to start to shift to fifth. And then we're going to brake hard, like very hard. We're going to send it probably a little bit too deep, in my opinion. Uh, then we're going to short shift to third, then fourth, then we're going to break hard again. Uh, we're going to be in third gear and then second gear, and then short shift to third again. And after that, we'll be going through the gears, full power all the way to the main straight. It's going to be a 27.567. Um, as we'll have another look at the last sector. Um, like I said, I might have went maybe a little bit too deep in that last corner, but despite that, um, the car actually did very well. You can see here we just send it. A pretty aggressive racing line uh, through there hitting some of the cones on the side of the road and then we're going to mainly set up for the next corner uh, short shifting between third and fourth just trying to help the tires to actually have better traction overall uh, otherwise the car is going to spin out and not really go anywhere uh, in the snow so here we are with a one lap attack uh, I chose 50 50 for the torque and set the rear brakes to number four so, just like what we covered the first sector, you're going to send this very hard. Uh, make sure your car is at the right side, or the left side of the blue stripes, 
get that strong long way run and then brake early we're gonna let the car roll naturally fourth gear then third back to the power uh, then shift to fourth as you can see we're actually ahead of our ghost just a little bit then going up the hill we're gonna be in fifth gear uh, then we're gonna brake and then back to the power we're trying to aim for our car to be right where that blue lines are on the right side of the road third gear through this part of the track and then we're actually going to stay in third gear we're going to take a much wider angle as you see here and try to get a much better run off the corner uh, as we go up the hill where the bumps are we're going to be in fifth gear then shift to six back down to fifth gear and then we're going to take a unique line uh, actually going below the blue lines and then we're going to stay in fourth gear try to minimize the drift effect and try to stay more straight uh, we're going to stay in fourth gear and then switch to fifth we're going to go across these blue lines just a little bit then shift to six which just barely hits the snow but we continue then we go down to third gear might have run it maybe a little bit too deep but we're still close to our ghost uh, which matters still in third gear uh, back to throttle uh, lost a little bit of time compared to our ghost but other than that uh, since we made up so much time with our ghost uh, we we'll actually be able to make a gold of 140.752, which is a huge, huge gain um, for gold. So here we over the, the last look uh, for the one lap attack. 50-50 uh, torque, four for the rear brakes. We're gonna brake mainly uh, set our car up where we actually cross over the check blue lines, uh, having a much straighter, uh, wider line to run. Through here we're going to brake, let the car not roll naturally, which actually does help a, a lot. And then we're going to go back to the power. Go up through the gears, and then after that we are going to set up for the next turn. Uh, we're actually going to left throttle right here just a little bit and then back to the power. We're going to have a short break right here, try to be where those check blue marks are. Uh, third gear through here, and then basically you're going to stay at that gear. Uh, through this part right here you're going to be mainly using the throttle uh, just mainly have a more of a unique arc uh, outer line and then going through the gears be at sixth gear brake stay close to those blue check marks on the right side of the road will be mainly in fourth gear through this um, after that you'll then go back to, to the power and then just mainly move the car to the left side of the road where you'll be in fifth gear and then after you barely tap the snowball six gear and brake hard uh, all the way down to third gear uh, make sure you keep it as straight as you can and then through here we're gonna go back down to third gear and then just slowly get back to the throttle make sure the car doesn't lose a lot of speed or traction and then set up the car straight and that's going to be gold for a 140.752 uh, at Lake Louise and if you do that, uh, you should be able to get 200,000 credits just for getting all the times and an extra million credits if you hit all gold. So hopefully that helps. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hopefully both of those three races will help you out um, at the new menu book 48. Also, I hope that one lap guy from like Eloise will help you out as well if you're going for gold. Also, hopefully that video of the super license uh, will help out as well. If you guys did enjoy the video, um, please leave a like, that would be much appreciated. If you guys also enjoyed what we saw today, uh, it would be also great to subscribe as well, as I try my best to upload daily. If you guys want to check out my last episode, I did uh, with the main license guide from IB to super, you can click on the field right there. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.